ATEM keyboard shortcuts you didn't know. Keyboard hotkeys can help when you need to switch in a pinch, and you've got the ATEM connected to a computer with the ATEM software control open. While it's rare that I use them, it's a feature buried all the way down in the ATEM mini manual that's worth mentioning. I know, I know, the dreaded manual is something that no one wants to read, but would actually solve so many problems if people just gave it the time of day. Anyways, I digress. While everyone knows how to run the ATEM panel itself, there's very few people that know the keyboard shortcuts to run it using the software. I used these shortcuts recently when I had my ATEM Constellation switcher in a rack mount, but I didn't want to bring the gigantic advanced control panel. Now, you could go and press the buttons one by one on the Constellation itself, but I would imagine your hands could get tired if the live stream is longer than an hour. It's far easier to just use the keyboard, and here's how you can do it. With an ATEM powered on and connected to a computer, whether it's using the USB connection or the Ethernet connection, launch the ATEM software control. If you don't have it, you can always go to Blackmagic's website, click on support, and select the ATEM live production switchers, and then scroll down to the ATEM switchers update. It's available for both Mac and Windows. Once that's opened up and you're connected to the ATEM, you can now use the hotkeys. Let's start with numbers one through zero on the keyboard. Pressing any of these keys will preview the source on switcher inputs one through 10, with zero being input 10. If you have a larger switcher with more inputs like the 2ME Constellation and it's 20 inputs, you can hold the shift key and use the same one through zero keys to cycle through inputs 11 through 20. Once you've placed an input into the preview window, you can use the spacebar to cut instantly or you can use the return or enter key for auto, providing you with a fade between the current input live in your program window and the input that's in your preview window. Alternatively, if you want a hot switch without placing anything in preview, you'd hold the control button and then press one through zero to automatically send that input to the program output. If you press the control button once instead of holding it, this allows you to stay in this program mode of switching, so you don't need to hold down the control button. Press control one more time to go back to preview mode. Now, if you're trying to hot switch between sources 11 through 20, you'll need to hold down control and shift, then press numbers one through zero on the keyboard to hot switch immediately. You can also press and release control to enter the hot switching mode, and use shift one through zero to hot switch inputs 11 through 20. So this isn't a foolproof method of switching and certainly doesn't replace switching with a panel, but if you wanna travel light without an ATEM control panel, or for whatever reason something is broken or not working, this is a good tip to keep in your back pocket. It's also an easy way if you're jumping through a lot of graphics and keyer settings to be able to switch from the same screen rather than having to look away at the panel and jump back and forth into the software. It helps to avoid the back and forth. Hopefully you learned something new today and if there's something that I left out, feel free to comment below and let me know what you'd like to see. Until next time.